Welcome everyone. This is a review of the H10 White Suites uh, Boutique Hotel in Playa Blanca. Uh, we're here for nine days this time. So, um, yeah, and it's a bit breezy today. But there you go. Can't have everything. So, uh, let's take you inside. So, you come into the uh, reception area. Quite a lovely reception area. And then uh, information box over there and uh, a little kind of lounging area here with a bar uh, as I say there's a bar outside as well so I think most people use the bar outside but if you wanted to sit down inside this is quite a nice little area there's gonna be a lot of chairs in for for the size of the area though anyway bookshelf there there's your reception, as I said. And then as you come on down, right takes you outside, and left takes you into the breakfast room. So this is the uh, breakfast offering in the mornings. Very good range. Your bacon and eggs there, and your omelets, breads, fruits, porridge, all your juices. Meat, sorry, and your pastries. So, pretty good. If you get in here early, it's great, it's like this. If you get in here at anything probably later than nine o'clock and it is rammed. So depending on what you want your experience to be really. Um, you can sit outside there, there's a little kind of all in on the side that you can sit and sit look, looking outside by the pool there, as you can see. Or you can, uh, yeah, choose to sit in here with the bit of warmth in this to this morning so, some mornings are quite chilly as you can imagine so this is the uh, beauty center treatment rooms upstairs steam rooms there two showers in there and in here you have uh, a relatively small gym, but adequate enough, running machines, and uh, some free weights. So yeah, although small, it's uh, practical. So walking into the room off the road there, you've got a super king size bed, bedside cabinets, air conditioning, full length mirror, and a TV, and the sun rises up over that uh, side, so it's very in flow. Little um, bedside lights there as well. Coming through, come to the uh, shower, two showers there. Sink, toilet, as expected, and then your sweet, sweet bit. Better TV, big TV on the wall, your sofa, fridge uh, in there, safe in there, two full size uh, wardrobes, which is pretty good. Um, and then you go out to, to the uh, your little little ter terrace. You've got uh, um, full size access. We've got not every. Um, not every uh, room has full side access. Pay a little bit extra for that. Right, um, right next to the pool, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, pretty good, pretty good room, really.
So yeah, so in conclusion, um, as you can see, two lovely pools, outside bar, inside bar. There's a, a specific restaurant over there next to the um, beauty salon, but I haven't seen anybody use it. And this is, this, this hotel does offer all inclusive, so I don't know why anybody would. I mean, we're not all inclusive, but, but there you go. Um, outside jacuzzi up here. That thing there is a special little room that you can go and you can hire and be treated like the king and queen and what have you. I will say the music, which is in there in the evenings and uh, around the pool in the uh, lunch times, is really good. Um, we haven't heard anybody in the evening yet. We thought, oh, what's that all about? Um, breakfast. Breakfast was good. Typical Spanish food for breakfast. Um, the one thing I will say about the breakfast is they only start doing breakfast at 8 o'clock. Now, 8 o'clock is quite late for some people, um, but quite often we did see some people or some bowls and dishes and that on the table and wondered why. And I've just checked at reception. You can ask for an earlier breakfast. So the food is in there for I don't know, quite a while. I don't think you can get the hot stuff like bacon and eggs and all that sort of stuff, but you can get your, your other stuff. Having said that, if you go in at 8 o'clock this morning, they, the bacon and eggs weren't ready until nearly 20 past. I don't know if the um, the people doing the bacon and eggs were on some sort of uh, mission to prove a point that they need to be employed from, say, quarter to eight or half past seven, because they certainly weren't ready very early this morning. So if you were in there at 8 o'clock and you wanted to get away, then you wouldn't have really have been able to. Um, yeah, everything else. I mean, some of the places, are, like our room's looking a little bit tired, and, and our room's over there, number 103. Um, I would suggest number 110 uh, oh, oh to 110 and 200 oh, oh to 210. If you can avoid them, I would, because uh, for the first five mornings of our holiday, five o'clock in the morning, the dustman were empty in the bins, so that wasn't great. Although, um, we haven't heard of them in the last couple of mornings. Uh, the location of this hotel is great. Um, you can you can easily walk around to sort of the, the, the top of the strip, the bit that road. In fact, this is on the road that, that turns into the, um, the road that's parallel to the, the front. Um, you can go left and go down to the, the, the new LaSalle um, area, and you can go straight on, and you're almost down the front in, well, five minutes or six minutes or whatever. So location's great. Um, when you chuck the word boutique in there, you kind of expect a little bit extra. And I don't, don't know that this hotel has got that little bit extra. Although boutique in Spain might mean something different than it does in England. So if you've got any questions, um, just let us know in the comments below. And uh, give us a subscribe if you would. That would be great. And um, look out for some more Pete and Heidi's adventures.